gelatin printing. These are the basic tools for gelatin printing. We have, of course, the gelatin printing plate right here. Which This is called a brayer. It's a roller to roll the ink onto the gelatin plate. This is an inking plate that we spread the ink out on. And this is black printing ink. I'm using black today. I have also have some sheets of newsprint. That's what we're going to be printing on. And then some objects that we're going to use to actually make our print. Some different leaves and some, some yarn and things like that. Really anything that's relatively flat and has a texture can be used in this process. To begin with, we're going to place a small amount of ink onto the inking plate. In this case, less actually works better. And then we're going to roll it out. Now, the idea here is to actually get the ink onto the brayer, not to spread the ink all over the inking plate. And you can see that I'm kind of going in a square right here to get the ink evenly placed all over this brayer. Then we're going to ink the printing plate. And to do that, I'm not really pressing very hard. I'm pressing fairly, I'm, you can see, I'm, I'm, I'm not even pressing. It's just the, the weight of the brayer that's putting the ink on. If you press too hard, you're going to get it to slide like that, and it leaves uh, kind of scratchy marks on the ink itself. Um, you roll it out until it's evenly inked. You don't want it on there so thick that it's, that it's gloppy. Then we're going to put a couple of these objects on there. Now, when you do this, you want to look at what you're printing and put the side that has the most texture so it faces down. In this case, on this leaf, the bottom side where these veins are seems to have the most texture. And so I'm going to place that down so that it is actually touching the gelatin surface. You want to do this fairly quickly. You might want to, to plan your, uh, your design before you actually ink your uh, plate. Uh, and that way you know how to place it down right away. You can also use some yarn to add some interesting line texture to it. Uh, this kind of maybe looks like vines growing up there. That's really kind of neat the way it works. Then. You're going to take, and you take your first sheet of paper. You actually use two sheets of paper in this process. You take your first sheet, place it on top of there. Make sure that when you place it on there, it's not going to slide around. Then you're going to take the palm of your hand and press it down firmly on there. You want to press firmly all over the gelatin. Press it down, but you want to press it in such a way that the paper doesn't move around. You don't want the paper to move around or you'll get smears on your, uh, print, on your print that you're making. Once it's all pressed down and you feel that you've pressed everywhere, make sure you get along the edges, then you peel it up. There you can see I've made a negative of the print. Then we're going to pull off these objects and these can be reused. Take these off carefully. And you can see that you can see the the image that's left on the paper on the the, the gelatin uh, with the ink. Let me take another sheet of paper and place it on there carefully. And just like we did before, press it with the palm of your hand. You don't want to press with your fingertips because this is gelatin, and you could break through the paper and poke a hole in the gelatin. And I'd rather you didn't do that. Then you peel it up, and there you have a positive of the print. You can see how there's both a positive and a negative of the print. Once you're done, the next person in line comes up, and they should have by this time arranged their objects like they want, and then they can start inking the gelatin. The next person have their gelatin inked, place theirs, their print, their their 
object on there. Notice on this one, this, some of it's even sticking off the edge. That really doesn't matter. Like I've said before, it doesn't matter if your picture goes off the edge of the paper. This also can go off the edge of the paper. Now this one is a little bit lumpier, and so I really have to be very careful about making sure that it doesn't move around while I'm pressing. So I'm always pressing with one hand to keep it all still and in one place. Now that I'm sure I've gotten everything pressed, I peel that off. Now I carefully take this off of there. And then I take my second sheet of paper and place it on there, press it down so that I press all over it. And there we go. Positive and a negative. And that's how you do a gelatin print.